You got punched and took off running. <laughs> hey. I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to see if my fam them got it. The nigga show say, he say, man, they hit me talking about some, do you remember me? He try to act like it was some random fan niggas trying to just jump on him or something. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you know why you got punched up, nigga? You know why you got punched up? I'ma try to go ahead and do them dirty, but motherfuckers talking about, nah, man, woo, woo, I'm like, man. In all your spots, know how you move, let's buy some shots, you know all my business. I see that shit, man, that boy, he was stripping, I say, man, that boy, her cabin like a what? Man, he on there talking about, I knock niggas out for a living. Ain't nobody, I say, <coughs> I say, nigga, I remember you asking for an escort across the bridge because them got on your ass. You called a nigga and asked for an escort. Then he tried to make it like 14 niggas jumped on my man. No, 14 niggas jumped on you. You got punched and took off running. Hey. I'm going to uh, try to see if my fam them got it. The nigga show say, he say, man, they hit me talking about some, do you remember me? He tried to act like it was some random fan niggas trying to just jump on him or something. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you know why you got punched up, nigga? You know why you got punched up? Man, it, it was gonna be worse than that. I was trying to go ahead and do them dirty, but motherfuckers talking about nah, man. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, man. I'm already that, that knew. Not, that, they, 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 they went on there talking about some. Well, I could have got to my ride. I'm like, nigga, you just don't know, nigga. Yeah, nigga, spurred your life that night. Like, and he I had it on him. Yeah. He had yeah, it on him. Know. He had he had it on him when it was all going down. Yeah. Nigga, you ain't left that in the car. You had it on you. And you wasn't even trying to fight back or nothing, nigga. You was running. <laughs> then it's, uh, it's little security. They pulled up, saw the shit. Nigga, I'm looking dead at it, nigga. They, they didn't bag back like shit. Shit, we out of here. He tried to make it like he was by himself. Nah, hell nah. One of his partners, we whooped one of them niggas that was with him. And then the white boy with the blue Mustang, he the one that pulled up and saw the shit and pulled back. Hell nah, I ain't even getting out that motherfucker. Hell nah, he ain't getting out with them gorillas. <laughs> That celebrity faking that hey nigga show like bro why you be coming at him like that? I said cause the nigga fake man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga the, the business don't mean y'all acting like he held me. That nigga ain't held me. He couldn't turn down that check. I knew exactly what to do to make him come out. You know what I'm saying? What it was, he thought it was an easy lick, like okay. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly what he thought. That's exactly what he thought. Hell no, it wasn't that easy. Then nigga gave me the perfect ammunition right before. Nigga, you got you 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 literally got hit and took off running. You took off running. You ain't even I don't need the nigga fell like on a what was that movie, man? Uh <laughs> when he say, I'm sick of this shit, nigga. And he hit the nigga and tried to run. Uh what was that? First time failing? No, that was uh three strikes. Maybe he hit the nigga in the yard and tried to run and fell. <laughs> nigga took off running, nigga. You fall, ball up like a girl. You weren't trying to fight back or nothing. Talking about some four. It was 14 people. No, no. It just felt like 14. <laughs> it, it felt like 14. He caught one. <laughs> he that caught that hammer. That motherfucker skull he had on his head, nigga, when he went on that uh, little Instagram, nigga, I did that with the steel. <laughs> I already know. I know he thought it was 14 niggas. It was 14 niggas up there trying to save you. It ain't never about it ain't never about getting touched. You know what I'm saying? Cuz this city anybody could get touched, you know what I'm saying? Like you going to get touched in this city. You know what I'm saying? You going to get touched. It's about how you respond, how you react, you know what I'm saying? You touched the nigga. You got touched. You waved a flag for peace. But then, every time you get an opportunity, you bragging and boasting about touching the nigga. That's what I ain't respecting right now. I ain't respecting your response to get in touch with, man, we gonna let bygones be bygones, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't wanna bump into dude and them no more and make no more static. We gonna just, you know what I mean? That was your response to it. But then you keep going on these interviews and going on the internet and talking like you just knocking niggas out. 
and niggas walking around flinching when you come through and shit. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time you get on here and say, man, Google me, look me up, I knock niggas out, you reminding niggas that that video out there and you punching, bro. You the same nigga that was asking for niggas not to come to the battle. You the same nigga. This me. The same nigga you was coming to, man, bro. Can you make sure, bro, them don't get in a battle, man? And we just want to keep it peaceful, make the money, go on about our night, kick it. I'm, yeah, bro, I got you. I tell bro and them, like, man, bro, dude, them don't want y'all to come to the battle now. Bro and them cool with that because they know what they did. They understand what they did. They understand the circumstances. But at the same time, you can't be asking me to ask a nigga to stand down. And at the same time, you steady reminding the nigga that you hit him. You see what I'm saying? You steady, oh, yeah, I hit. And the, every other nigga you hitting, you on the internet hitting is niggas from your own city. Niggas that you got personal relationships with. Niggas that you know personally and you knew before the camera came on. At the end of the day, you come back to this city. You come back here and you move around how you move around or whatever. But at the same time, you be counting on real niggas that's out here in these streets to 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 hold you down and make sure, you know what I'm saying, you can move around this motherfucker like it's all good. But at the same time, you shitting. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that, bro. You can't wave the flag for peace and then go shoot some shots in the air while you walking off. You sending mixed signals. You waving the white flag and sending smoke signals at the same time. That's why it's getting addressed. It ain't about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? You've been doing way, way, way too much, my dude. We let you get away with so much shit from the beginning. You know what I mean? From the beginning, we let you get away with all kind of shit. Nigga, you the same nigga was calling for help, calling, asking for a nigga to escort you across the bridge because you thought niggas was going to try to spray your whip or something. You the same nigga when it went down, when you got rolled, nigga, you waited on the police. You waited for the police to come. You know what I'm saying? You stood there and waited for the police to come and talk to you, bro. You ain't, boo ooh, ooh, get out of there. Oh, shit, who was that? Oh, motherfuckers around saying it was you. Nah, you was still there when the police came. You said out your own mouth, the police asked you what happened. You told them nothing. Why was you even still there? Why was you talking to them? You stood around, waited on them, because you ain't want to get out of there, not knowing if Buddy them was on your ass like that. You called and asked for an escort across the bridge. Come on, man, keep it 100. You called and asked, hey, bro, man, uh, two weeks before the battle, you called him, man, hey, bro, can, uh, you know, make sure dude and them don't come, man. Oh, man, bro, I got you. The day of the battle, you come in there, hey, what's up? Everything good, dude and them ain't here, is they? Nah, they ain't here. Man, they ain't coming, is they? Nah, they ain't coming, you good, bro. Hey, man, I just want to make this money in. You know what I mean? So don't keep doing that. Don't, don't do that and then turn around and get on the internet and talk about, how you knock niggas out and you telling your side, your version, we gonna tell the real version. This ain't to shit on you or nothing. Just you keep inviting this because you keep on bringing that shit up. So nah, nigga gonna speak for the other side. Nah, nigga, it, it ain't. You, you don't knock niggas out for a living. You hit niggas that you know while they drunk, trying to show off for the camera. And then when niggas double back on your ass, you wave the flag. And then you go on TV and shit and talk like you just really doing that to niggas out here that's what you do you faking bro don't get the plan don't play that game bro because we can pull the sheets off you know it we can pull the sheets off bro you the same nigga bro in my battle choking for, for five minutes we edited the footage we edited the footage so y'all wouldn't see the chokes so it's not to destroy the value of the battle the value of the battle was important to me you know what i mean so, the value of the battle was important to me. So, we edited the footage to not show all them chokes. This nigga turn around and go on, oh, yeah, man, they edited all my rounds out, man. And, and they made my, they clipped my rounds short and I still smoked them. We had to clip your rounds, bro, because you was choking. It was either show all the chokes or clip some of the rounds. If we would have showed all the chokes, that would have really brought the value of the video down. And it was almost like you was doing that shit on purpose because you was shady as hell with the business anyway. You ran into the he, he, the initial post, bro. He come on Instagram and some shit like, man, this dude just got out of jail and his friends want to pay me 10 G's to battle him to help him get his name out there. Like, nah, nigga. He took advantage of the fact that he had a 
bigger social media following than me because I was fresh out of jail. <laughs> so he put he painted this narrative and put it out there before I even had a chance to, you know. But I never spoke out because it was irrelevant. Like, I don't care because I still do me. But that nigga didn't give me no name in the city. I been had a name in the city way before dude was even, you know what I'm saying? Like, before dude was even a factor in any type of way in the city I had a name. The same niggas that know him, know me. That's how the battle even got to happen. Because the same niggas that he go around is niggas who I've been around. So when I come home, niggas like, man, my little man, he doing that battle rap shit. He cold, he got a big name. You know what I'm saying? I'm steady hearing about the nigga everywhere I go, man. He the best in the city. He the best in the city. He the best in the city. So I'm like, shit. At the time, you know, me and B-Magic, homies, we grew up together. You know what I'm saying? Me and B-Magic grew up together, so B-Magic like shit, bro. You know, whatever you want to do, I can, you know what I'm saying, make something happen for you. I wasn't really thinking about that shit at the time. B-Magic shot my first video when I came home two days after I got out of jail or some shit. I still had my house arrest bracelet on, you know what I'm saying? Like, he shot my first video when I came home, long before the battle happened. Six months before the battle happened, my first video. So, uh, I been had an avenue. I didn't need to go to dude to get a name. Anything that he could have did for me at the time, Magic could have did for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything. Magic could have connected me with somebody who had a bigger name than him in battle rap if I wanted to go. That was about me wanting to establish, man, I'm the best nigga. Him, he going to duck it. Ooh, man, I ain't finna battle him. Man, I knew he'd duck it, so I made it. Oh, what, the nigga think he too good to battle me or something? What, do you think his name too big or something to battle me? All right, man, fuck it, get a nigga 10 Gs. Like, that, that's how that went. It wasn't, oh, man, hey, uh, man, we got 10,000 if you would battle me. It was, you know what I'm saying? Like that. That was just to get him there. The 10 was just to get him there. And get him in front of the same crowd, everybody that know all of us, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and he the best battle rapper? All right. Listen to this. Watch this. Go back, break them rounds down. I wasn't doing no... Y'all was looking for me to come with these crazy... Boy, I'm breaking him down. I'm breaking him down. First of all, you hate it on Verb, but we gonna dead that. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen to them rounds. I broke them down. Literally, never about no name, getting no name. I was, he ain't introduced me to nothing. I had YouTube, I was on YouTube in 2007. You can go put me in right now and find me on YouTube in 2007, rapping, doing shows, all that shit. Like, I been, I been had that. I been had that. I was doing battles back then. I was doing battles in the joint. I wasn't doing this new shit niggas doing now because that ain't how it was. I didn't know of that. You know what I'm saying? But... It wasn't nothing for me to hit up Magic in. It was never about getting a name from dude. It was about, they keep saying you the best. So I want to establish that I'm not one of these niggas. Magic was pushing me to battle rap. Pushing me to battle rap. They kept saying dude was the best. So I'm like, fuck it. If I'm a battle rap, I'm going to go at the best nigga. I ain't going to go at a nigga that don't got nothing going on. I ain't going to get out here and battle with niggas who just... Say they battle just because they trying to get an opportunity to get on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna do that. I'm going to battle. I'm going to battle the nigga that they say the best. So I can, you know what I'm saying, show niggas that I'm the best. Because that's what I'm battling for. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm battling for. So a nigga like him going to try to play Hollywood, man. I ain't battle. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. I'm hit, man. All right, fuck it. Get a nigga 10 Gs. Get him 10 Gs. Tell him we got 10 Gs. Come on, come do the shit. I knew he wasn't gonna turn it down. 10 G's? Hell no, he ain't turning it down. He running to get it. He calling me, he ready to get it. 10 G's? Hell yeah, I battle you. But at the same time, that's neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? Because it did what it was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga, that nigga was crying, man. Crying. Like everything he did, and this whole shit had been shady. This whole shit been shady the whole time, and the nigga just been sitting back chilling because it don't really affect a nigga. He never promoted this battle, ever. You know what I mean? Because he didn't want this to be seen. He didn't want people to see... He didn't want people to see the city that he say is his city, St. Louis, cheering for a nigga 
that he's saying is nobody. He's telling the world, I'm just this dude that just got out of jail. He's trying to get a name. So you think he going to promote the city of St. Louis being out at a battle cheering for this nigga? You know what I'm saying? You think he going to promote that? You think he going to promote the city of St. Louis standing in front of St. Louis Slim, one of the biggest promoters, one of the biggest names in the city? You think he going to... You think he going to promote the city standing in front of him and cheering for me? You think they going to do that? You think the city, you think he want to promote the city seeing him, seeing Verb and that little star power that they got, you know what I'm saying, and cheering for me? You think he wanted people to see that? Hell no, he don't want nobody to see that. The crowd booed me. The crowd booed me in my first round. I forgot it was something that I was saying, but my delivery was so bogus with it. They booed me. And I wasn't even tripping because I know that I delivered it bogus. It wasn't no gas. The gas, you know, my people on the stage, of course, but they don't never, they don't know nothing about no battle shit. They not fans of battle rap. They don't even know who this nigga is for real. You know, they just up there. You know what I'm saying? They cheering for me, but everybody else in the crowd, that's the city. They coming out. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But you, you know, like where you cry. The whole battle. Whole time you up there choking, you hitting the water, acting like they distracting you, but the whole time you up there choking. You know what I'm saying? You up there choking and then you want to go cry time out. We clipped your rounds, try to make it like we did something shady. See, everything was designed to keep that battle down. You know what I'm saying? The nigga got up there and did a lot of choking and whining and all of that. So... We clipped the rounds to not show all of that. This is how real my life is. You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is from... Harvard Blake. And you made that.